Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a special spirit reading and this is special real divine self-care reading and messages through the changes. So they woke me up for this. So it is so early in the morning and I love doing readings like this because I first get a spirit message, real divine self-care through all the changes and then I was guided to five decks. Um, so for the first, we're getting real divine self-care through all the changes. So make no mistake, this has been a recurring message. The most important thing is to be th on your own side through all the changes inside and out that's happening. There's been a lot about if you need more downtime to choose into yourself it's going to be very important see the illumination above her crown paying attention she's also focused to her heart everything should be more heart-based and that includes to yourself and listening to your wants your needs beyond just distancing or masks what they're talking about real divine self-care your energy your time your focus attention your energy where is it going it's your natural resources Everything right now is all about love and truth and being aligned to your heart. And through these changes, transformations inside and out, um, what's been coming up is boundaries are very important. Um, like I said, it's beyond just distancing or masks. Um, t really taking real divine self-care of yourself is a term they keep on saying for like the like over a year or two real divine self-care not just self-care like what you're eating exercising real divine self-care if you feel a shift in your energy take care of yourself um you know make sure you're not getting drained make sure you're not going to a black hole they're talking about when you get lowered in energy then raise yourself up um to remain as look on the right as clear see how clear and light as possible through the transformation um, so you need to stay focused on your own heart, stay divinely connected, and stay as clear and up as possible through the changes, which is a tall order. I always say light working is a 24-7 job, and we're not just a healer or a divine channel outpouring for others to, and things to make better, but also to be a divine healer for ourselves through this time. So when I talk about real divine self-care through the changes, it really encompasses much more, not just real divine self-care through the physical changes that we see outside ourselves that we're experiencing but inside as well you may even find that you're not resonating with things that you used to in the past that you're shifting that you're transforming that you're going you know um it's so be on your own side through the whole thing be, see how she's focused on her own heart it's like listen and you're tapped in your divine compass it's uh, really listening to your divine compass your intuition we talk about all our clairs have been really opened and activated you're using your clairs to navigate this even more than your physical eyes and ears um, we're being blessed with that um people may not even have the vocabulary for it yet but they are um using more of their higher self is a term that I use a lot but um, what does that mean it's a higher wisdom a higher perspective a higher knowing a higher seeing um, a higher loving um, you know all of this people are incorporating more through these it's part of the transformation but it's also helping us through the physical changes that are happening around us it's all one it's inside and out uh, these changes and transformations so during this time real divine self-care is going to be really important and amplified even more than you ever thought of like boundaries uh, you know because of what we're going through with this what's going around with distancing and masks but also with your time focus energy attention where are you pouring it you're part of making things better for yourself and others like don't make sure you're it's not dwindling away that it, it's landing it's purposeful it's effective that it has an impact and is effective at the end of it, we need to move forward more effectively, and so we really have to take care of our energy, our time, our focus, and follow our hearts and our divine compass through the changes. And real divine self-care encompasses so much. So when you think about it, besides distancing, masks, things like that, do you need more time alone to relax, to regroup, to recenter, to tune in, um, to meditate, um, to get clearer on things, to reach for clarity, just be on your own side, maybe incorporate some more fun. Um, do you need more sleep? Do you need more rest? Do you need to be more active? But 
and also are you encountering the input of the world and you need to over, you need to be all that the world is not right now so that's been a recurring message as well that they're lending me to where there's not peace you bring in the peace, embody the peace, bring the peace to things. Um, whatever the world is not providing for yourself, look deep how she's focused into her heart. You supply it for yourself. You be that for yourself and others. Um, so when you talk about real divine self-care, it's almost being that fountain of love for yourself in a way that you probably never really had to be. Or at times of difficulties in your life, you did show up for yourself. But going forward, this is always showing up for yourself, always providing that real divine self-care for yourself. So you could be showing real illumination on what ways that you need to step up that real divine self-care going forward because it's more than just stepping up or showing up when it's gotten so bad that you have to show up and stand up for yourself. This is gonna be more of real divine self-care uh, lit all the time, like very fully aware of that all the time. That's why they're calling it real divine self-care, where we flex that muscle so much that it is an ease that will help us with the transformation. It will help us stay up and clear through all the transformation on all the changes, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to incorporate everything that they gave me, but this real divine self-care is not just a one thing to do when some you have some negative input one time, you know, last week and, and you stood up. This is every day, moment to moment, keeping your energy as light and clear as possible through all the changes. Your energy is so important and your energy is valuable and your energy is needed. and. Um, to stay up and clear as possible is helpful not just for yourself but for the outpourings or what you're here just you being sitting in your energy is important is what they always say so everything that I'm saying here when we talk about real divine self-care for the changes for the transformations it's inside and out what's happening and um, it's not to be underestimated this power of real divine self-care and to be on your own side and another thing is it could be very different from what you see other people doing you can compare yourself to others um, you know what other people are doing to what you need or want in the moment you really have to be your own counsel you really have your own personal divine connection and you have to stay really divinely tapped into your own energy and it could be very different you know we're all on different frequencies and levels in the sense of you know, you could be a highly sensitive person. Your needs and wants are gonna be very different than someone else. It doesn't make anything more good or bad or right or wrong. It's just each one of us has different needs and wants <laughs> to get through more optimally. And we also have different input during the day um, and are affected by outside energies in a different way as well. So anything that you can incorporate that fully supports you, that you feel more aligned, that you feel more clear and up, the, this has been what they're saying, like incorporate that into your daily life, your moment to moment life, to have it almost in your spiritual toolbox, what you can, you can do to stay as clear and up as possible for the transformations, to always stay focused on your heart. Yes, you wanna be serving to others, you wanna help others and everything else, but look, she's focused on her own heart. Make sure it's bright, clear, open, She's highly illuminated her crown. She is fully connected. She is, you know, really tapped in with her inner wisdom and also tapped in with the divine, staying as clear and up as possible. But this is gonna be very practical advice on how we can stay divinely connected for and through all the changes. So I know I rambled a lot, but I didn't want it to just be, this is real divine self-care to get you through the changes and you just assume it's like the outside world the changes that we're experiencing which we are but we're going through a transformation we're going through a transformation where we're coming out clearer and more up and whatever it takes and there are some things that we're definitely shedding along the way you are going to need real divine self-care along the way for that there are some things that are changing within you you're going to need real divine self-care for that there are things changing on the outside you're going to need real divine self-care for that on a moment to moment basis where a lot of things we're not in control of, you're gonna need real divine self care for that. Um, you know, it's something to have in your back pocket uh, to be really hyper aware of, to be on your own side with and not compare yourself with other people. So let's get the clear advice tapping into real divine self care. This is the self love oracle we're actually tapping into. Let's get the messages for real divine self care. We're gonna tap into real divine self care and five other decks. We're gonna tap into real divine self care messages, self love, 
this is the psychic soul. So they literally were talking about it. It's like real divine self care for the psychic soul, for the for the for you, the divine soul, the divine spirit that is aware you're going through big transformations and changes during this time inside and out. Then we're gonna get literally real divine self care messages from this deck. We're gonna end it with divine spirit messages for your divine spirit, and then end it with pure love from spirit, which I feel like this all is, which is why they're having me ramble and put everything that they've been giving me in this video. I apologize that I babbled for so long, but um, the importance of it, I guess, they really just want it to be real divine self-care through the changes and just have it on like one level. It's like a multi-dimensional level of the amount of changes, transformations, be on your own side, you know, Real divine self-care is, is it's like moment to moment, day by day, um, really listening and paying attention to what you need and supplying it and not comparing yourself to other people at all, holding your own being on your own side is really very important. So let's get the real divine self-care, self-love. Let's come self-love for the let's see, what are the messages that we're going through? They got it into these five decks. So there's supportive messages on this message that want to come forth that will help us when it comes to real divine self-care on a 24-7 job. It's a 24-7 job. To look at it as real divine self-care always, like always, okay? Not just, yes, forgive and release. So here, look at this. This almost reminds me of the hermit, the awareness inside. Forgive and release of all that you need to let go as we're moving forward and blooming more of our hearts open. Here, we're stronger for carrying love and forgiveness rather than hate or regret. We can keep our lessons learned without holding on to past hearts. This has been a recurring message. Part of what we're transforming right now is a lot of release. Right before this message, there was release to fly. Believe you were loved, love, what was it? Love protected and heard, release to fly to the new. So there's a lot of forgiveness and release going on. Like I said, as you're changing and transforming to go clearer and higher and lighter, uh, we're letting go, we're forgiving and releasing a lot. It's part of the shedding, you know, like if a caterpillar changes into a butterfly. There's such a letting go in that process. We're all forgiving and releasing a lot. Um, you can keep the lessons, but you don't have to hold on to the past. So this is a great awareness and a great forgiving and release of shedding to go up a notch, to be lighter and freer going forward. You can feel it's not just in the past year, but things from your past, that you may not, you know, they kept on saying, and you may not even realize you were still carrying it, but they're like deep inside as we're going higher and higher. It's like even the oldest stuff that you are like holding on to that you can fly on lighter is being released at this time. Own your power has been a recurring message. So, uh, exactly. I mean, look, he has the world in his hands and it's going through a transformation. During this time, it's for all to own our personal power at this time is very important. Changing the world is easier after one has learned to change oneself. Become the change you wish to see and watch the world around you shift. I mean, that says it all, right? They've been going on about us owning our divine power through this time. We see the outside world is going through a transformation and it's up to us to change the world. That's why they're saying own your power. That's why we have to be clearer and more up. When you forgive and release, you step into more power. Just like we were saying in the beginning, where's your power going to? Where's your natural resources going to? Is it going to a black hole or is it landing and having an effect, an impact? right? Because we are the change. So there's a lot that we're releasing to gain actual more power in the process because we're part of the outpouring that's making things better. And then we're getting mourn, a oh, wow, mourn. So we have grieving can be overwhelming, but necessary. We are cleansed by letting our feelings wash through us. Only then can we move past the pain. So at this point, we could be really mourning losses an actual loss of people, events, situations in our lives. Things are getting cleaning up. Like it's not easy, this transformation. We've had to let go of a lot. We could be um, having remnants of mourning our past or the way life was or the way things were going in the past. But it's all part of the transformation that we're moving past. But granted, this has been a very dark time that they're acknowledging that um, you don't have to be overwhelmed. Sometimes we may be overwhelmed by feelings 
during your self-care, real divine self-care, when you're going through extreme loss, mourning of the way things were or set up before, because we're going to the new now, um, whether it's loss of people, situations, places, things, our life is, you know, we're moving on here. Um, these feelings that are coming up, be on your own side with these feelings. They need to be released, forgiven, really. You know, it, that's part of the release that's happening. We've suffered a great deal. It's very valid to have feelings. Be on your own side with these feelings. Like, not everything is up, up, up. You could have overwhelming of feelings of loss, of mourning um, situations or things or people from the past. So allow yourself to feel those feelings to release. Um, because only then you'll be able to move past them. So this could be a real part of the release sometimes is when you, all of a sudden it comes up and you're talking about it again to release it. Um, you're crying or you're feeling those feelings again to release it. So it's like be on your own side if there are eruptions of feelings or memories. It's all part of releasing properly from, it's, they're calling it excavation. So you could find that some pieces of mourning that you didn't go through or you buried, um, and it could be in the past or it could be recent events, but it's coming up now to be really deeply released. They kept on calling about an excavation. So if you're having feelings about things that happened like a decade ago, still be on your own side when it comes to real divine self-care. It's coming up to be released. So you'll, have, you'll be more caring and loving to yourself through the process. And you'll find at the other end of it, once you get it out, if you talk it out, you cry it out, you know, to others, you express it, you'll feel better, you'll feel washed over, you'll feel cleansed. Um, it's a really, it's, I've been seeing this all around me also. Um, things like from, I'm talking about decades ago, I have, uh, you know, people in my family, it's like dredging up things from many years ago to be really, to, things are coming up to be properly released. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's just definitely what's happening now. And you can see on the big stage, too, things are getting excavated. It's very messy when it does, but it's to be released has been a recurring message. Like, everything that's coming up is, it was there, and it had to come up to be released. Um, so, definitely be on your own side with that and we're getting yeah what did I say about the sensitivity right so why I'm doing this reading is um, primarily if you're on this video you're a sensitive soul right this deck that we're doing next is psychic soul so if you have all your clears open you call yourself an empath a psychic sensitive we're all sensitive more sensitive to energies that's why it's even more important to have real divine self-care I don't um, it doesn't really matter what you call yourself or anything we're all being very highly sensitive and very highly sensitive to your own energy and the energy of all around you and so this only makes it a more difficult and a more feeling time that you really need to have real divine self-care because you're feeling it all right and look at all the butterflies through the changes we're feeling it all on higher levels here appreciating beauty requires sensitivity this leads some of us to feel vulnerable and to deny our emotional needs yet the world needs more sensitivity not less so embrace it so what i'm saying here and this is lending to it it's on own your power right sensitivity is a strength and it's it's the kindness and the love that's needed in the world it's the empath that's needed in the world it's caring about others that's needed in the world it's everything that you feel um, is needed to be brought into this world. So own your power, meaning this is real divine self-care because you have to guard the sensitivity. You have to take care of the sensitivity. It's part of your real divine self-care, but it's also part, part of your real divine power that's needed to balance out this world. We don't need more insensitive people, to put it bluntly. Um, it's the sensitivity, it's this empath, it's this caring, it's this love. Um, that's what's balancing the world. That's what's helping the changes. That's the energy that needs to be brought in to bring in the changes. So those that are sensitive, those that are caring, those that are literally feeling like this world's tearing their soul apart, they want you to come into more of your power and be more, meaning take real divine self-care of yourself and your sensitivity. It is not a weakness, it's a strength, but you need proper boundaries. You need proper self-love. You need to to protect yourself you know you need to stay clear and up and you need to bring it to situations it's what's going to make things better so it's the sensitivity is they always talked about you're too sensitive it's a weakness it's whatever it's that exact sensitivity that's going to be the power that changes the world right we need more love we need more caring if i always said my whole entire life 
if you wanted to solve every problem in the world, if if somebody was addressed any any problem in the world, if they came from caring first, there's an easy solution over money or over self-interest or you know, if you just care, if you genuinely care, everything is solvable. Everything and simply too, like tomorrow. I, it was like, you know, if you care, that's that's where we need to come from. If you truly love and you truly care. Um, so this is the importance of owning your power. This is the importance of real divine self-care for sensitive souls right now, because it's like this, anything that we're doing is not worth anything if it doesn't have some love and sensitivity in it to make a difference um, because everything now is going to be heart-based that's why we're all releasing now um, and coming back to being more about truth and love so those who are sensitive i'm just saying this is not an easy time in fact you're feeling it harder than anyone else through these transformations because you feel energy right so the, why they keep on saying real divine self-care boundaries this is a 24 7 job you have to do it for yourself you have to be on your own side and it is not a, a curse or like um, something you have to get past or rectify it is a beautiful needed necessary trait for the changes in this world so there's something about this recognition that they want us to have that will empower all of us to take more real divine self-care of ourselves like it literally is for the psychic soul sensitive soul the way for you to stay clear and up and own your power going forward and it's also not just for yourself but for the world like whatever you're doing in your work whatever you know if there's no time years ago you may have been more beat up by the energy or more affected by the energy but what's been going on the last couple of years is like there's no time for that anymore it's like whatever you need for real divine self-care to be a strong sensitive you're a strong sensitive own your power sensitive a strong sensitive is what's needed in this world for the new changes for what we're building and growing now for the for the new you need to be a strong sensitive um, and all of us do. And what's really interesting is we may have started out as the sensitive that's just being like um, really affected and we're coming into our power to be a strong sensitive. And then you have people who are in power that are being worked on to go down, you know, to, to incorporate more sensitive. Do you see what I mean? So if you started out sensitive and vulnerable, you're rising up in power. And if you're in power, you're bringing more down, it, like in alignment to be more sensitive with what's going on. Um, it's just really interesting. I'm just bringing everything into here. So this is what they're bringing forth. So think of yourself as a strong sensitive when you talk about real divine self-care. So what does that mean to remain a strong sensitive for yourself and others to own your power? You know, that's owning your power. So let's get into psychic soul because that's what they're saying through these transformations. We're getting more powerful light. Stay up and light and know be a strong sensitive and be there for yourself for real divine self-care. Let's get what's going to be important psychic soul, you strong sensitive with all your players open, right in my hands, we are getting protection, yeah, this is why I'm doing this reading, I have to tell you, we've been getting the protection card over and over, it's tiger's eye, white light, shield, divine energy, you are filled, you are white light, divine energy, they're talking about a shield protection, it's more than just masks, They've been talking about boundaries. This is why I'm doing this reading. It goes beyond distancing or masks. You have to be a strong sensitive. So we're the proper boundaries to shield yourself, to take care of yourself. Um, white light, um, shield, divine energy. You have to feel a divine protection. It's going to be part of your journey. How to incorporate feeling more protected, whether you are actually protecting yourself with boundaries whether you're actively doing things like readings and everything else to feel more protected. Yeah, because look, and connected to your guardian angels. Do you see this? So this is protection and guardian angel. This is support, blessings, and guidance. So you have to know, and I have chills when I do this, that through this whole process and transformation, and when you're providing real divine self-care to yourself, this is, this is why I'm doing it. It's the divine energy is looking at you as and the, your guardian angels, they always say, take a stand with your guardian angels, that you're getting help, support, guidance, blessings all along the way this process. They look at you as a sensitive that needs to have divine protection. And they're helping you and guiding you on ways to further protect yourself in the process, meaning your energy, especially, um, like shielding your divine energy is leaping out because what we, each one of us are 
are doing is coming into more power to make effective changes. Um, you have to trust and know in every reading I do, and this is not a deck about guardian angels and protection, and we're still getting those cards. Through this whole process and transformation, you have to know you're surrounded by guardian angels and you're protected. Tap into all your clairs and your intuition through the whole transformational process because they're supporting and guiding and giving you blessings of how to do it. And they're also encouraging you to shield yourself and feel protected in the process. You are sensitive, right? So they want you to know well, they're helping you own your power to take real divine self-care of yourself through this transformation to feel more protected, to feel more support, more blessings. You could be guided to different things um, to help you with that, to feel more protected. It's a beautiful thing to be so sensitive and loving and all of this, but at the same time, there, it, there's a lot of protection here, a lot of guardian angels here um, coming into your power, providing real divine self-care for yourself along the way. Let's get into real divine self-care. Let's get into real divine self-care. They're filling the gaps of what they want to bring forth for this reading. There's just a lot of love and guardian angels and protection. I feel that's why I'm even doing this reading. It's like, feel that you're protected. Feel that you're guided through these transformations. Be on your own side for this. Have real divine self-care. Your sensitivity is your strength. Own your power. So to remain sensitive in this world, you, you, if you do have to have proper boundaries at the same time. Sensitive, I mean, it's, it doesn't make a difficult, challenging time easier. It makes it harder, but they're helping us so much. There's so much real divine self-care coming out. Look at all these cards. I'm gonna show every single one. This is why I'm doing this reading. So create the life you want by the power of your decisions of what to say no to and yes to. So remember they said own your power. You're creating the life you want by the power of your decisions. What are you saying yes to? What are you saying no to? That's going to be a huge thing. That's part of the shield of your divine energy. Like where is your time focus energy going to? Don't give it to the black holes. You're very sensitive. And people can, you know, they're drainers and things like that. You know when it's time to play and when it's time to get to work. So live balance. They want us, part of our real divine self-care is to live more balanced. They're showing us how to do it. This is a 24-7 job. This is like if you are living balanced today, but then tomorrow you get some kind of input, how can you go back and readjust? Is it a time for play or work so I feel that my energy is balanced? Do you see what I mean? This is not just a one time. You have to live balanced. So a balance of work and play is going to be very important going forward. So the power of your decisions, what to say yours to no to, this is part of protection and your guardian angels. This is what they're saying. You're creating the life you want by the power of your decisions. What are you saying yes to? What are you saying no to? You know when it's time to play or work, so live balanced. Now they're saying you know when you need to just quiet down the world and tune into yourself for a while. Remember when she was sitting here in the beginning, they made me say, look how she's focused on her own heart. No matter what's going on, it could feel like a jungle out there. You know when you need to just quiet down the world. Tune into yourself for a while. Absolutely. The peace that you need. Eliminating stressors in your life, knowing you can always create can't make this up you can always create more peace for yourself no matter how like they said it could be chaos it could be a jungle out there it could be whatever as a sensitive you're picking up on all these energies but you know when you need to just quiet down and tune into yourself and you can eliminate the stressors in your life knowing you can always create more peace for yourself you can always literally create more peace for yourself I mean, I'm putting the card right here. They want us to like embody this. Like this is, you can always create, know you always have the power to create more peace. It's very important through the changes and transformations that we can always have the power to create more peace for ourselves. And as a sensitive, you're gonna need it. Like they always said, if the world is not at peace, you bring in more peace. If it's chaos, you bring in, you know, you overcome, like you bring in what the world is not for yourself and others. Remind yourself often yeah, of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done. What is, what, what's here? Own your power, own your power. So this is like powering up the sensitive. I don't know what else to call this. It's like a strong sensitive. You're a strong sensitive is what they're asking us to be here. Remind yourself often of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done. They're saying you can go farther than you even imagined on more levels than you even realize. This is what your your guardian angels are saying right now. As a strong, you're a strong sensitive. They're empowering you to be a strong sensitive in these times, and this is the real divine self care for this. 
you have always take real divine self care of yourself all along the way. Yes, this is why I'm saying it's 24 seven. This is not like, oh, you're done. You've mastered this. This is tomorrow. You're going to have to adjust and do something again. And next week, you're going to have to do it again. You're going to have to be a sensitive you're going to have to be a strong sensitive in this time going forward and take real divine self-care. Strong sensitive. When fearful or doubting, listen to those feelings and know how to nurture and comfort yourself. This is what they kept saying. Be on your own side. You're going to have to be on your own side. See how she's focused on her heart and staying illuminated. When fearful, doubting, listen. Listen to those feelings. Remember, the more, if any feelings are getting interrupted, know how to nurture and comfort yourself through this process. Yes. Try, treat yourself well to all that uplifts your spirit and supports you along the way. Why did they say stay as clear and up as possible? Treat yourself well to all that uplifts your spirit and supports you all along the way. So whenever you need to pick me up, you know how I always say spirit pick me up? I know it sounds trivial, but it's the most important thing that you could possibly do. Treat yourself well. Yeah, that's part of real divine self-care sensitive. You gotta stay in your power. Treat yourself well to all that uplifts your spirit and supports you all along the way. So keep clear and light the whole time. So now let's go with divine spirit messages. This is a really I could see it's empowering the sensitive. It's it's trying to this is taking care of real divine self-care of yourself so you can stay in your power. Strong sensitive. Okay, so let's get uh, divine spirit messages. This is beautiful. This is all from guardian angels popping out in the protection. This is how they want us to be more, you know, power of ourselves. Real divine self-care. Right on the heart. Oh gosh, I gotta see what that is. This is real divine uh, spirit messages for our divine spirit to top this reading. Real divine self-care. All those real divine self-care messages. They, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the number one card. You are going to surprise yourself. So they want us to know, like, through this transformation, this has been coming up. They're saying you're going to surprise yourself where you're going, where you're blooming, you're flying to the new, was the message right before here. You're going to surprise yourself um, with what's going to be happening going forward. Express yourself at this time. Stand up, speak up. Know you are loved in this moment. Yes, guardian angels coming out here. Know you're loved in this moment. Believe in yourself. This is a recurring message. This is... Know you're loved in this moment and go forward aligned with spirit. Do you believe that? Go forward aligned with spirit. Know you are loved in this moment and go forward aligned with spirit. Um, and this also is the sen us here, the sensitive, own your power. It's divine power. They always talk about it as divine power. So go forward aligned with spirit. What is spirit really? It's tremendous love, right? Go forward aligned with spirit, real divine self-care for yourself. Aligned with spirit is providing that real divine self-care to yourself, that real divine love to yourself so that you're powerful and own your power as a strong sensitive going forward. You're going to surprise yourself. You're going to surprise yourself with you're probably going to feel a sense of divine power where you can stand up, speak up, express yourself where you couldn't before. They're empowering you to do that because it's the strong sensitive that is doing the transformation with what you're doing, with your work and your personal making things better. It's the strong sensitive. Do you see? It's like the divine feminine divine masculine together it's the um you know so they want you to believe in yourself this is all being worked on so they're gonna say they're gonna be like rooting you on know you're loved in this moment go forward aligned with spirit um have the proper boundaries protection real divine self-care for yourself and step into more power that's what they were encouraging us to do through these changes inside and out and it is going to feel like changes inside and out and a lot of it may not even be that quite that comfortable or you have to do more real divine self-care um, to believe in yourself go forward align with spirit to express yourself to feel and know you're loved in this moment not every moment feels like that but this is what they're supporting this transformation. So to be a strong sensitive going forward. Let's end it with pure love from spirit for real divine self-care. Oh, 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 we're getting right in my hands and here. We know how far you've come. We will help heal the situation and we know how far you've come. Wow, 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 wow. Their help. We're not doing this alone. We're not changing the world alone. Um, you know, you're fully supported and everything else. We know how far you've come. They know everything that's been a recurring message. They know all that's happened. They're going to help heal the situations that we're all facing. 
Yeah, because we know all you think. We know you love us. Yeah, that loving energy. We will help you over the obstacles. Yeah, we're still getting through a lot of things. That's part of Will Divine Self Care right now. They know that we're still in the in transformative times, trying to get through obstacles, healing situations. They're helping us to take real divine self-care of ourselves to own our power in the physical. Own your power here. You are the change that's changing the world. It's the strong sensitive in their power, right? So take real divine self-care of yourself. It's going to be really important. And they're showing us how, all the ways to do that. Um, real divine self-care to be that strong sensitive. Let's see what other uh, pure love and spirit. It's beautiful. Yep, yep, yep. The one that flew all the way across the table. I'm going to have to get, we will help you to move on. Yes. We know you miss us. We sure do. This is from your loved ones passed on your spirit guides. And are you ready for this? We want you to go for it over the obstacles. They're definitely asking us for everything that we could possibly do to remain owning your power in the physical. If you feel shifted or lowered in energy or in your power, that's talking about real divine self-care. This is the stack to all ways to get back up and feel like you're moving forward aligned to spirit. That you feel backed, loved, supported. You have guardian angels here. Know you're loved in this moment. Um, there's a lot of this about empowering us to be like the strong sensitive in in your personal divine power in your days going forward and really important to take care of your divine energy real divine self-care it's not just distancing and masks it's remaining in your power on the power no matter what you're being hit with or faced with what obstacles you know because they want us to continue to go for it this sensitivity and owning your power that's what's changing the world let's talk about own your power we'll end it here changing the world is easier after one has Learn to change oneself. Become the change you wish to see and watch the world around you shift. And this is the sensitive soul who no longer looks at it as a weakness and is like hiding how sensitive or loving or caring. This is one that is stepping forward, empowering themselves and proper boundaries, protection and empowerment so that they are more effective. They kept on saying it's effect, it's a landing. See the butterfly landing on the earth? It's for all of us to be more effective and it's landing and it's changing the world. So this is a, a deep transformation inside and out that we're all going through is what they're saying. So this was real divine self-care for all the changes and transformations. It's ending how it began to, you know, love yourself through this is no joke. It's not a light singing to stay as clear and up and as possible going forward through these changes and to real divine self-care, whatever it takes to remain the sensitive, right? and owning your power in the physical and providing real divine self-care for yourself all along the way um, is what's making the difference. And you should feel that you have love, support, guidance, you're loved in this moment, guardian angels and protection um, to, to be this way and to go forward, like they said, go forward aligned with spirit. Um, and this sensitive person, that's the embodiment of the love, the over caring, the empath. It's like that's, yeah, go forward aligned with spirit. And that's the power that's needed. Um, but real divine self-care, bringing it down, this is big stage, small stage, our personal lives and everything else. This is the backing love support they have for this power, for this, the changes that we're going through. It's like this metamorphosis, literally, it's like a metamorphosis. We have to have real divine self-care through the whole way, like 24-7. <clears throat> so that we go forward aligned with spirit. This is, we're going to help heal the situation. Go forward aligned with spirit. Keep going for it. We know how far you've come. Know you're loved in this moment. Provide for yourself whatever you need during this transformation. Um, it's going to be really key. Like this is the way to go. Go forward aligned. This is healing yourself along the way and healing um, the outpouring of the world. Um, I wish you the best. These are the messages that want to come out about real divine self-care, powering the sensitive, stay aligned to spirit going forward, take real divine self-care of yourself through all the changes. I wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.